My grandfather had grey hounds, my dad had grey hounds, my uncles had grey hounds. So I wasn't that interested as a young fellow. I played golf and sport and had a career. It wasn't until all that was over that, and my dad got a bit older that I started to help him out. One of the older fellows asked me would I be interested in going on the committee. I said yes. and. Um, 16 years later they threw me out after I'd been on the committee for 16 years and president for 11. One night my dad had the flu and he had his dog set to race at Warrigal. This was 25 years ago and I went into the kennels and I wandered through and there was this girl that um, checks your membership and the license and all that sort of stuff and she um, she checked me out, and while she did that, I can tell you, I checked her out. And um, we, we finished up going out together, and 25 years later, here we are, and happy as Larry. <music> 30 years ago, I'd go around with my dad. Oh my gosh, the places were rough. They've all improved so much, and it's a credit. It's a credit to all those people over all those years that just kept building the blocks and we've got what we've got today. The Greyhound Club is a silent sort of sentinel. It's there, everyone knows it's there. There's only a certain amount of people go there every week. And yet in the background, we've done so many good things for the community. And, and, and you know, we run raffles and all sorts of things every week, no matter what. And there's been quite a few cases where kids have been sick and we've thrown in a couple of thousand dollars and we've just done things quietly, dropped in our share because we're part of the community. They give me their heart, those dogs. I look after these dogs like they're my babies and, and and I just know the more I put in, the more I get out of it. They, those dogs love me. You know, I go out there and let them out one by one and they can pick grass, they can do whatever they like. And they come back and they put their head on my knee. And I sit there and I look at them and I just give their, it's, it's beautiful. Every one of them, they come back and just put their head on your knee or stand there looking at you as if to say, what's next? It's fantastic. I, honestly, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have those dogs to go over every morning and uh, the enjoyment just all day. Uh, that's what I do. I love it. Greyhounds are my life and I'm serious. I really love it. <laughs>